puppet tail beam. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty good. Thank you guys for uh, everyone that's purchased from our Etsy shop. We really appreciate it. It helps us out a ton. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we got the ducks a new bedding. This is just a cement uh, pan. Same thing as we use for the water. We just started doing this. Um, just, you know, always trying to find different ways to improve um, the duck situation. So hopefully they can use that to lay in. And it'll be more drier, I think, with the pan. But I don't know, we'll see. Well, that's a bloody one. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Where would that come from? <laughs> Ooh, that must have hurt. <laughs> because the ducks are so muddy and messy, I kind of debate if we should keep the ducks in a separate area. I think it would just make the chicken area more cleaner. I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I don't know if that, that's the way we want to go. Or do I keep the ducks with the chickens? It's so much easier to do that, but it's just so, it, but it's just so muddy. And then we had a ton of rain this week, uh, so that made it even worse. What's up, chickens? And we're still trying to figure out a um, another chicken coop because we have 20 egg layers coming. Yeah, maybe leave this for the ducks. Build another chicken coop. You guys, I had to change out my boots. I typically been wearing those Ariat uh, leather boots, and I love those, but they're a little bit too warm. They're mainly for the winter, so I had to switch out to my bogs. Just moved them over a little bit to kind of get them out of the poopy areas. What's up, Bernice? Look at this. Have you guys started your garden yet? Your victory garden? Yeah, you could do it. Look at this. Some bok choy. And these are all leafy greens. Swiss chard, kales. Look at this. This is red spinach. It looks so pretty. I made this water tower. I will be doing a proper video on this, on how I made this. This is full of water. <laughs> okay, four days ago, there was no water in here. Four days ago. This is full, that's full. That's how much rain we've had in the last four days. Snoopy, what are you doing? You're in the hammock? Yeah. What? I'm planting herbs by my kitchen. So I'm so excited about these. these I grew from last year and I just saved them in the greenhouse. This is oregano, but it looks kind of funny right now. Alright, so you guys, we have pigs coming still. You know, with everything going on, uh, I've been trying to set up their structure for them and this structure. So I'll leave a link down to the show notes of this video that I did of how I built this. If you have not seen that, if you're new to our channel. Actually, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jason. Hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having a good day today. Um, we're getting pigs for the first time and we're getting two of them. A couple things that we needed to get done still before the pigs come. One of those things is they need a water drinker. All right, so our pig shelter is ready to go. <clears throat> I had to put down the sides here because I do not want water coming here, but as you can see, Water, some water came in here on the edges. In the middle is dry, but on the edges some water came in, so I had to take these down. And hopefully that'll work. We need to keep inside here dry for the pigs. This is about five truckloads of my little Toyota truck of wood chips here. And this is the barrel that, the lid that I took off in the video. Um, the one thing that I need to do is make a water a uh, little water thing for our pigs that are coming in here we have the pigs feed in here and then we have the little feed bowls that we have there for them and i need to add a little nipple thing on here i have the material so that's what we're doing today we're going to turn this into a little pig water 
We have more wood chips here. And this is all for this pig shelter in there. So this is the hookup, the adapters to hook up this nipple water. So this is much like, I don't know if you've seen the chicken nipple waters that we use. They're kind of the same concept. And then you just screw that in and hook it up to that 55 gallon barrel. And then the pigs will hit that and then drink from it. I mean, that's the idea anyways. I've never done a hookup like this before on a pig thing, for a pig thing. I need to drill a hole big enough for that. And that's about one inch. What I need is an inch and an eighth, but I don't have it. I think that's a little bit too loose. I think I like the idea of an inch because it will be plastic. And so if I just drill it in the plastic, I should be able to twist this in there because it has threads. And that should be all right, I think. I don't know, let's try it out. So that's a good tip for you guys. If you're unsure, get a sacrificial piece of wood or something and uh, drill the hole out, you know, test it out. See, see what works before you actually drill it in the piece that you need it and make a mistake. All right, so I'm gonna go between the 15 gallon and the 10 gallon, 10, between the 10 to 15 right there. I'm gonna drill a hole right there. I'll leave a little space there because I'm thinking that the pigs are gonna wanna possibly push this over, but hopefully leaving a little bit of water in there might be beneficial uh, just to keep the weight down. And then also I got to figure where the pigs are compared to where they're going to drink it. Like how high do I need it? I don't know. I've never raised pigs before. I'm just thinking common sense. <laughs> I'll put a link down in the show notes of all the tools that we I show you here. All the tools that we use, I put them down in our kit. So you can check that link down in the show notes. Now, remember, this is a one inch, this is exactly it. Probably should use an inch and an eighth. All right, so I'm gonna add some Teflon tape to this pig nipple. I don't know if it needs it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. If there's any leakage, I might have to use some silicone. All right, so then the pig will come up, hit that, and then water will come out. The whole purpose of this pig shelter is to document and show you guys how I'm gonna do it on our one and a half acres, how I'm gonna raise two pigs, and we're raising them for meat. I don't have the luxury of moving them on pasture or in a wooded area because I don't have that. Uh, so that's why I built this. And hopefully I can bring them out once in a while outside. I don't want them to tear up my yard either. You know, we'll see how it goes. First time raising pigs. First time definitely raising it like this. I'm still working on a ram pump that I haven't um, had time or the funds to complete it. Plug a hose here and then run it there. Or I'm gonna have to run a hose all the way up by the house. And that would be a probably, uh, I would say that's about 200 feet from here. And so I'll have to connect a couple hoses or a few hoses. I have about 100 and feet, I have about 150 feet on there now. My plan with this water, saving system is uh, just really to use it to maybe water the some of the garden or you know stick a hose to it or possibly um, use it to water the pigs um, pan their food pan because I'm gonna have to uh, wash that off every single day and so that was my thinking with this not to use it for drinking water for them Ooh, it's hot in here what do you got here and it's almost 120 degrees in here so I hope you guys are staying positive with everything going on right now in the world. I know it can be difficult, but you have to, you know? Stay positive, have hope. It's gonna get better, I know it. All right, so I probably need 25 more feet. That's 150 feet right there. Put on this shutoff valve right here. 
and that's just for this purpose so that shuts the water off here so that way you can unscrew this that's better so the water is up to here I don't see any leaks yeah we're in we're in pig business there we go <laughs> okay it's leaking a little bit now oh man come on I'm gonna have to silicone it all right so the second thing that we need to get done before the pigs come is this scale the scale is for the feed uh, I want to try to measure out the feed every time I feed them um, we'll see how that works but I need to hang this somewhere preferably in here because I have the feed in here and I need everything kind of here ready to go there you go so that should work so since this is my first time I do want to try to be mindful of how much we're feeding them just so that way I know and then also to show you guys some pig math right you guys, you guys do chicken math well we're about to do pig math this year and I'm gonna share with you guys how much it costs me to raise these two pigs you know this is a whole year process of figuring that out and I'm gonna share it with it with you guys all right so we're having tacos today we're having an early dinner today because it was kind of warm today was it warm today Penelope yeah, yeah it was hot a little bit yeah um, so we're gonna um, eat dinner and then head on out to plant our potatoes because we got to do that today it's gonna happen they look good look at all these sprouts and then this side has like calloused over and this was really easy and affordable so we made these out of a bag of potatoes that we bought yeah just organic potatoes so we made our own seed potatoes and it's just a lot cheaper than buying actual seed potatoes right right and they were sitting here for two weeks right I think it was two weeks, yeah. We gotta pick a row. This one's mine. This is your row? Yeah, we're not planting potatoes. So we're not getting compost this year. Trying to save money, limited budget this year, guys. We usually buy compost every year to hill up these rows even more. And you know, since this is our fifth time growing in this spot, we, uh, you know, it, the the soil is definitely a lot better than what it was. I, I, I'm really good at this. See? That's the row we pick? Yeah. All right. These, I'm not sure what these are, but I'm taking these out. I might be flowers. Yeah, I think these might be flowers. That's a sunflower. And then I think those might be cosmos. Those are sunflowers? Yeah, these are sunflowers that came up. Because we had sunflowers all around this area here last year in the spring. And they dropped their seeds. These are Easter egg radishes. Look at that. All of these radishes. Easter eggers. This is the daikon radish. Look at that. That looks good. And then here's where I dropped that packet of seeds. And then these are Chinese red radishes. I'm like so excited. Look at these. The onions? Yeah, those are my onions. We're doing good. Do you see our peas? Look at these. All these peas That's and on good. that side there's more peas. The peas look good. And then I got some more stuff growing under these rows here. I don't know if we have enough potatoes to do two trenches, but I'd like to try. I, I think we might. I feed that to the chickens. That grub? Yeah. Come on, wake up little guy. That's gross. Alright. Sure it's off. Like it? no, here you go. You're welcome. There you go, Sally. Oh, you missed it, Bernice. You missed it. The ducks are always practicing social distancing. <laughs>
Okay, drop them in. The these sprouts are going to be up. I know. Okay. You mean eyes? Yes. So we're gonna do all the red ones first. They're gonna be up well, because that. they're gonna grow. As I'm digging the trench, I'm digging a little bit deeper than usual because we're not gonna really have dirt to like cover the potatoes. And if you have a deep enough trench, then you shouldn't have to heal them up as they're growing. Good job, Penelope. Well, that's it for space. How many potatoes do we have left? Enough for another row. Five, something a little bit crazy don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna th bury these potatoes in here inside the pig pen <laughs> those guys are gonna they're not gonna know how good they actually have it here all right so we did one and a half rows of potatoes here these are about 30 foot rows So these are the bags, our feed bags, and the benefits of getting these feed bags is you could reuse them for a, a, like a weed barrier. That's it. Uh, tomorrow we get pigs. We're getting pigs! I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs>